Hello DIYers, welcome back. Quick intro inside. Uh, we are in the path of Laura. She will only be a tropical storm when she reaches us, not a hurricane. So we are not in a super high risk area. Yeah. We're like 500 miles inland. Oh yeah. But it will be a tropical storm. So everyone within a 50 mile radius is doing their yard work right now. Right now. Today. It is so loud outside. <laughs> so let you know what we're doing here and then it's gonna be voiceover from there on out. But we are making a compost bin today. It's super easy, super affordable, super DIY. And you know, the point of compost is low waste, minimal waste, using every scrap of everything that you have to make your food grow even more beautiful, your flowers grow even more beautiful and be even healthier. So we're gonna use as much of what we have as possible and other than that, just, you know, a cheap metal trash bin that we picked yeah. up from the hardware store. 25 bucks. Maybe you have something you could already use. Yeah. But let's show you how we get it done. Cool. All right, so we're outside now. I don't know if you can hear the, all the yard work in the background. It's kind of died down, so we're okay. But here's our trash can. We're gonna make this guy into the compost monster that it needs to be. Um, it's metal, it's pretty thin. I don't, I don't know what this is, aluminum? I don't know, who knows? Some sort of metal. But really, basically, all we're gonna be doing is drilling some holes in this guy, just in the top, all around it, just so airflow can go through the whole thing. And then with these guys, we need to place it on top of something so the air can come out from the bottom as well. So a lot of people suggest using cinder blocks, but we don't have any cinder blocks. Um, at least any of this spare. So what we have, our fence in the backyard is like falling down, falling apart. We're gonna be end up redoing that, but we've already taken some fence posts down that were literally about to fall all the way over. Um, and we have these pieces just laying around outside. It's pressure treated wood, so we're not too worried about using this as our kind of base for the bottom of our compost bin. Um, so basically, I'm going to take this and cut it into a couple pieces so we can make kind of a square little set for this to um, be set on top of. So here we go. See those little carpenter bee holes? <laughs> They're everywhere. Basically, the idea is just drill a bunch of holes. Uh, all throughout the trash can. So we're gonna do it in the top, bottom, sides, everything. So I'm using a hole saw drill bit to make a big hole in there so we can uh, let a lot of airflow go through. Um, this one's 5 eighths of an inch. You can do smaller, bigger, just depends on what you really wanna do. So here we go. So as you can see, we closed the garage door because it was very loud and we didn't wanna bother the neighbors that are all making loud noises with their own yard machines, but so that's fine. Here we go. That's diatomaceous earth on the ground over there to help with the ant infestation. The ant infestation that's coming in. And just so you know, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on this because this is pretty thin. And the last thing I want to do is dent this and warp this so the top won't fit exactly where it should on the actual can itself. So not putting a ton of pressure on it, letting the draw do the work. Cool. It's so hot. It's so hot. Hurricane Laura's really bringing in that uh, humidity. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, now we're just gonna take it out to the backyard and start putting food in it. Okay, so here is the final result. This white powder is food grade diatomaceous earth. That's to help us with the ants that were living inside. The pressure treated wood 
but this is ready to go, ready to aerate. So we're gonna get this started. Okay, so for compost, you want, you're probably gonna be able to manage a 50-50 ratio of brown material to green material. Now we're gonna start with topsoil because we just don't have a lot of other brown material, but brown material can be sawdust, it can be hay, it can be topsoil, it can grass be clippings. mulch, it can be grass yeah. clippings, it can be shredded trees and branches. So that's all brown material, um, paper, cardboard. I know people put newspaper in. We actually, our food clippings or our food scraps are in this, you know, in this paper bag here and the paper bag goes in that's brown material so you always need along with your food scraps and your food waste you always need at least 50 percent brown material if you don't then this is just going to turn into a rotting trash can so like i said we don't have a ton of brown material to start with so we're going to use topsoil which is perfectly fine um and as we go along, we're gonna be saving things like yeah. our cardboard egg cartons, our grass clippings, so that we can really kind of start to utilize all of the things that are otherwise considered just junk or waste and thrown in the trash. They can go in your compost and they're gonna make your garden grow like magic. Hopefully our garden grow like our magic. Our garden, yeah. which is not made yet. No, More to yet. come. Hold on, on, that. on that, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lay a nice little layer of topsoil here down in the bottom of the bucket. As you can see, we eat a lot of bananas. <laughs> and then I can go in there too. Cool, first step. Composting. <laughs> you guys, there you have it. That is a super affordable, super yeah. easy DIY composting bin. I mean, how much was this? It was the uh, twenty-five. Bin was twenty-five yeah. bucks, and then we had this wood. Mm -hmm. We had the wood already. We, we had, had the topsoil top top already. already. And let me just say, please, please use topsoil. This is not a time to use expensive seedling soil or um indoor potting soil yeah hello aria you really like this is all about frugality and all about using what you have this is you don't need to spend a lot of money on your yeah. compost so Not don't get a fancy soil you know of course get something that you feel comfortable with and safe with um, organic if you want and something that isn't treated with a lot of chemicals other than that we're just gonna keep an eye on this we're gonna keep aerating it and we're going to keep making sure that along with all of our food scraps we are also adding brown material yeah now do your research on what can go into compost but a pretty easy guide right off the bat is just you know we talked to you guys about brown material but as far as food it's just organic material and by organic material we mean it would grow out of the ground yeah if you cooked it in oil don't use it if it's fish if it's bones if it's you know any other part of an animal don't use it that is not a food scrap for here use that for broth um i think that's pretty much it but you know this really does not cost a lot of money you can no. buy fancy composters vitamix has a 300 dollars one now it's like an instant composter. it's an instant composter which is pretty gosh darn cool but no, you know what we don't have 300 dollars. So we like have seven eight times the amount yeah. of money that we spend on this thing right yeah here, so. you can do it with yeah. 25 dollars or less we didn't have a bin that we could have used maybe you have a bin that you can already use yeah. um so definitely this is the time to try to see what you have already spend as little as possible and just start making use of the things that are otherwise waste Hey guys, so it's a couple weeks later. Do I have dirt on my nose? You do. Wow. That's not great. I just got out of the garden. I just got out of the garden. As you can see behind me, we have finished our garden. We're about four weeks after our initial uh, compost bin video here, and we're going to see how it's doing, um, and we're going to add some more and aerate this thing. So here's how it's looking right now. We've got some of our compostable seedling stuff. We got a lot of brown material in there and our stuff at the bottom. And I'm gonna add some of this stuff and some more topsoil. 
then we're gonna see how this all goes. Now <laughs> I'm gonna add the top soil here on the top. And we're gonna aerate this thing. Which means basically turning some stuff from the bottom to the top. So as we said before, we started this compost right around the beginning of September. And if you're looking for a compost to put in your spring garden, you're gonna wanna start it now. Because over time, especially in the winter, it takes a little longer to break down in the cold climate than it does in the hot summer climate when everything is getting that heat. Um, so right now, I mean, this, as you saw, was not ready uh, for us to put in our garden now. So we had to buy compost for that. But we're hoping by the time we start our spring garden, we're ready to use this stuff and it'll be really nice. Make sure to like this video if you did in fact like the content. Subscribe if you want to see all future content, and we'll see you next time. Bye!